As luck would have it, I was able to find some aloe uh, vera leaf at a local grocery store in Clearwater called Earth's Origins. It's hard to find, but if you call up first, you might be able to get your local grocer to save you a leaf or two. So the idea would be when you have a burn, a thermal injury, uh, whether it's a standard sunburn or even a burn from gripping a hot pan, a blister, in fact, runner blisters, you might be able to put this on to soothe the irritation as you're coming off of your competition, your 5K, your half, mile, uh, half marathon, or your ultra marathon. Uh, the idea is to, I will just use this leaf. Uh, the ones I'm used to, these are small leaves, one of these two, I uh, picked up about 18 inch, uh, half inch to full inch thick aloe vera leaf in the past and it's easier to work with because you have to cut this open. You can see that the thickness here is a little bit uh, hard to deal with so be careful because to extract the jelly out of this you have to, here's some of the jelly if you can see it coming out. Well that's the jelly and, and you apply this, this is what you apply to your burn but to extract it you have to cut the top half and the bottom half of the leaf off and you separate it and you have nothing but jelly. I'll show you. This is my hiking knife. So it's kind of sharp which is useful for um, making shelter and making fire but it's dangerous when you're trying to cut a small plant. Uh, the edge spines of the leaf are, sh are pointy and you can try, I'll just start with cutting this in half and working with this part of the leaf. I'll cut off one of the spiky edges so I'll have essentially just a hinge on the other side. I'm going to try to cut down the center here. Filleting open one side. So this was, my, my knife is really sharp so it was able to cut through obviously the jelly. If you our beginner here then taking a butter knife after you've cut off the edge the butter knife won't penetrate through the carcass or at least the skin it'll just follow between the edges of the top layer and bottom layer so it exposes the gel here is the gel you can see it's kind of slimy and uh, I, you might be able to see it shimmering but you the easiest thing to do is just to take the edges I'll just go ahead and break it in half now and you apply the gel to your skin wherever you see a burn usually to the shoulders or the face and you rub it in so it's even uh, one of the tricks I do is to put this in the fridge so it's cool when you apply it and you have the benefit of cryotherapy and the healing power of a plant isn't that amazing that your kitchen can actually heal you instead of harm you. So you can kind of break up the chunks so that they don't stay on you. And there are some people online that uh, use the aloe vera leaf for juicing, which is fine, but I would be careful about the pesticides used if there were pesticides used to take care of the plant and have it grow. So that's pretty much the, that's the, uh, there's still uh, extra gel on the leaf edges. I use that for uh, everybody else that's been burned on this vacation. And that, now this is not a sunblock, so you gotta be careful. You should still be avoiding the sun between the hours of 10 and two, if you can. Uh, if you have a history of melanoma, forget it, be careful, get a sunblock or stay under a shade. But if you have no choice and you're stuck in the middle of um, open land and you have only a hat brim to protect you, then uh, at least try to cover up with something, but when you get back into your shelter and you're taking care of uh, nurturing your, uh, your burn, aloe vera, omega-3 fish oil I think will help with the healing, turmeric, helichrysium topically, uh, tea tree, as I mentioned in my previous video, in addition to sometimes chamomile, lemon, all those will help with uh, speeding up the healing process. You'll be able to heal up on your own, but in some cases with a thermal injury, there will be severe pain and it will cost you a couple of days off from work when you're just getting back from vacation. 
if it happens to be a hike, it can be a painful sleep and as you know when you lose sleep your concentration goes off and if you have a hike where you're going over rocks or precarious terrain that could lead to an injury so it's always important to try to prevent the injury from happening so you have a better uh, outdoor experience.